What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Man, y'all seen the picture, y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know exactly why y'all here. DPR Ian, so I danced. Official MV. If this is your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Become a real redeemer today. For more content like this, jump on the Patreon. Man, no long talk, man. Let's jump into this, man. The DPR, really the content from all of them is always, like, different and decent. Um, they definitely are artists who seem like they, and not to knock on anybody, but, like, they just seem like they own, like, a whole different time. Um, like, they, they artistry and they creative, like, flow is a little bit different to other people. Um, they, they almost come across as, like, straight up, like, indie artists, if y'all know what I mean. Um, but it's, they always seem like they just have, like, a budget and some other stuff behind them to make them a little bit different than some of your, like, standard indie artists. But, yeah, no long talk, man. Let's jump into this. See what's up. Dystopian future shit. I told y'all it was a budget. Just danced. Okay. Yeah. Anime. Hey, my hero or some shit. Probably running around doing all these licks with his depression demon. I'm giving Joker vibes. Shoot him. <laughs> Get out of here. Like a Cyberpunk Western. Emerald City. Straight up. What kind of list are you looking for? Shit, the 
dogs there. Yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe. This was different, man. This is, I, I, I like them a lot, man. And just the, the whole DPR, like in general, um, just because they, I want to call them like unconventional, um, but just like their approach is just, it seems like it's so vastly different from everything else that's going on. Um, this genuinely felt like a movie that just happened to have music going on in the background. But if I was to close my eyes and just listen to the music, the song was a fucking bop. Um, outside of how creative uh, really the whole team is, but uh, Ian in particular, like, he just knows how to make good music too, man. Like, sometimes you can try to be as creative as you want, be extra, and have a whole lot of things, like, you know, going for you. But, you know, is it is it going to click? And his songs just click, man, on every single level. It seemed like it was so much thought put in here. Um, it's enough meat on the bones for you to kind of, like, surmise and make some, uh, like, things up with some key details. And then there's other things that are kind of just handed right to you. Um, shout out to whoever did the music video as far as directing and everything. I thought the CGI in here was phenomenal. The match cuts were decent on here. Um, just all the effects and everything just all helped to sell everything that was going on contextually with the song. Um, I like the style and the flow. Um, I was joking and I was like, it was giving like, he was giving Joker vibes. Um, he is and shit, but it's kind of more like, like swaggy and a, a bit more like Las vegas -y, like Las Vegas Joker. Um, I like this a lot. Um... I'm assuming the person that's with him is, uh, at first I said it was, uh, like, his inner demon. Because sometimes when, uh, like, people dress like that, that would be, like, your depression demon or just your anxiety or, or something that's kind of, like, with you. Um, so that's kind of how I took it. The eye effect is amazing on here. Uh, like, even when they're, like, in dark rooms or dark places and his eyes glow, you can just kind of, like, see it. It feels so otherworldly and it's just it's so dope. Yeah, man, I, I I like this a whole lot. Let me see. We might talk here. There's a thousand and one things to say about the storyline, but the emotion I felt outside of that while watching, while Ian's music, videos, and songs often inspire him, but I've never found myself actually crying as I watch my own mind play back at me. Okay. Of course, is amazing. This man is a genius. This is mind blowing. Can <laughs> someone check to see if Ian and his team are okay? Because they must be tired after dropping masterpiece. I truly wish for DPR Live and Ian that their music reaches higher and bigger. They truly doing original difference their music have a special touch that make it unique the quality of the mv the music the scenarios the characters he has created of himself i'm stoked with mito coming back my bitter sweet love mito um yeah i'm kind of with them this has been out for 13 days 1.3 million views I'm never one to scoff over like a million views. Um, I feel like, you know, when you reach out to have a fan base and everything is organic, that sometimes that's how like things operate when you don't quote unquote like have like viral moments or anything crazy kind of going on. With that being said, this is music where you just would assume like, damn, like, you know, let's get my guy to 20, 30 million real quick. Um, but you know, as, as long as his fans appreciate it and as long as people are getting on the wave slowly but surely, that's all that matters. 
he's he's amazing, man. He's an artist, artist, just killing shit. Love getting into his content. Uh, I'm also very interested to hear like what y'all theories are or how y'all feel about this. Uh, remember, y'all, this is a raw reaction. I don't don't think I even had the opportunity to like listen to something that would have been right before this or anything else because I'm I'm pretty sure the peanut butter joint I looked at wasn't on the same album. And if it is, that's even more kudos to him because they sound vastly different. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to long talk. Yo, man, jump in the comments. Tell me how y'all felt about this. Love y'all, Redeemers. We'll holla at y'all. Peace.